The quality of the audio has a significant impact on the quality of the content that you create. So making sure that you get rid of background noise makes a big difference in creating good content. Let me show you how to do that. Hi everyone, it's Lightcast, and in today's tutorial we're going to be showing you how to use noise reduction on Audacity to be able to recover bad audio and background noise to make better content and save you a lot of time when trying to edit content in post-production. In this scenario, we've already prepared a file ahead of time so that we can just show you how to do it. But before we begin, we wanted to show you a few things that we noticed when doing audio production and also audio correction, and a few amateur mistakes people make when deciding to try to use noise reduction in the first place. Let's listen to how it sounds before we treat the audio, and then after we treat it, and a few different mistakes people make. This is a very common situation. Sometimes this fan or other external noises can get in the way of recording good audio, and sometimes you can't do anything about it. So we're going to go ahead and recover the audio where there's this audio from the fan coming in, set on high, and me trying to record some voices from myself. As you can tell, the sound from the fan is pretty significant, and we don't want that. But there's also some other notes here that we want to make sure that we remove before we even begin to correct the audio. The sounds that you hear here are pretty insignificant. We want to do that because we only want to focus on sounds that we want to isolate and correct, which is basically this sound, and our present other section like this part. So let's go ahead and treat that. Go ahead and select this section of the audio so that we can isolate it, select Effect, Noise Reduction, get Noise Profile. It should be pretty instantaneous. Then what you need to do is select the entire file, go ahead and select Effect, Noise Reduction, and then make sure that the sensitivity is set very low. If we do it really high, and this is an amateur mistake, you'll hear something called distortion. And that's a pretty common situation because people don't treat their audio file properly. Let's go ahead and do this first to see how it sounds when you do it the wrong way. Immediately. It got rid of all the background noise, but it probably got rid of a lot of good sounds that we want to hear in the tonal quality of the voiceover. Let's hear how that sounds now. We went ahead and selected another section of the audio where there's a significant amount of distortion as well. So we're going to go ahead and recover the audio. So we're going to go ahead and recover the audio. Now to the untrained ear, that doesn't sound very bad. But in fact, this is a pretty amateur mistake, and if you pay attention to it, for especially for long narrations, it can be quite distracting because the audio distorts and the voice doesn't sound as natural as it could be. Let's go ahead and undo this and do this the proper way. Select the entire file by double-clicking or Control-A. Go to the Effect tab once again, Noise Reduction, and again, reduce this to about 6 decibels for the initial cleaning or initial reduction. Listen to how it sounds. This is a very common situation. Sometimes this fan or other external noise. All right, that sounds pretty good, but we can probably treat it a little bit more. Let's lower it by three decibels now. Again, do the same process. And listen to it again. This is a very common situation. Sometimes this fan or other external noises can get in the way of recording good audio. That sounds pretty good. In fact, this is something I would probably use, but I think I can go further. Let's go ahead and do the same process again. Alright, let's listen to this, and I'm pretty sure this will be the last time I treat this. This is a very common situation. Sometimes this fan or other external noises can get in the way of recording good audio, and sometimes you can't do anything about it. So we're going to go ahead and recover the audio where there's this audio from the fan coming in, set on high, and me trying to record some voices from myself. I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. It should be pretty simple. You didn't have to listen to the whole thing, but I hope you stayed around for the tips and tricks because I'm sure it'll help the quality of your content significantly. By doing this ahead of time, you're able to reduce the amount of time you need to work on the audio, 
And then now you can make hard cuts between the audio edits so that you can add transitions and so it sounds pretty seamless when you add videos, add sounds, like music and other things to add to the effect of the content you create. We hope this makes your life a lot easier and I hope that I helped a lot. If you liked our content, please leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike and leave a comment or feedback to help us learn about any things that we could do better in our future videos. And until next time, this is Lightcast and thanks for watching. See you all next time.